Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe here at Fino Boxing, like this video, and leave your comments down below. And follow us at all our social media platforms at Fino Boxing, and my personal one is at Adriana underscore sports. Meanwhile, you're still busy training um, lots of fighters and, and even, you know, some elite talent where uh, you even have some high talented prospects in uh, Chris Avala, Anthony Garnica, and the U.S. Amateur also, and Anthony Herrera. Uh, lots of fighters right there and, 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 and many more. Uh, what do you see in the future of this great core? Uh, you know, uh, sky's the limit. Uh, it's, as we, we've been talking about uh, discipline. You got to stay grounded, stay, stay humble, uh, keep grinding, keep working hard. Anything in life is possible. I, I've given, as a matter of fact, a few days ago, I, I sat down with a couple of my boxers and I gave them prime examples. Look, I can't look, look, look around you and look at the great fighters that have been able to come out of the stable and, and, and that have been able to become world champions. I, I, I spoke to Anthony Herrera, look at you. Look at where you were a year ago, two, two years ago as an amateur. You know, he was talking to me about, about wanting to turn pro. Yeah. And I sat down with the kid and said, what are you, what are you doing? Build a name for yourself. Go win me some tournaments. Go, go, um, go, go create your, your resume, you know. And don't just be another fighter trying to turn pro. No. Do something. Uh, uh, go win me the Golden Gloves. Go, you know. Go, uh, uh, again, like I said, build, build your resume. What does he do? He turns around. We had great talk, great motivation motivation for him at the time. He, what does he do? He turns around and he starts beating and, and, and winning every tournament that they put him in, including the WBC, uh, uh, which we were so very proud of, the WBC belt. He won the WBC. He fought a kid. They brought a kid from Argentina, which is like a – top rated boxer worldwide and probably the best boxer in Argentina. It was actually a featherweight. And, and Anthony, we got the video for proof. <laughs> and, Anthony, <laughs> and Anthony's a, a, a flyweight and they matched them up. We're talking about, you know, about 10 pound weight class, this yeah. difference. And they matched them up and, and, and he was a favorite in, in, in the show, in the tournament, WBC. And Anthony goes out there and he puts on, and by the way, it's Paul puts on a great show and, and beats them. And that is wanting to, 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 to do something special. And he, he put his name out there, won the WBC belt, the amateur, of course. And he moved on to the Nationals, went to the uh, Nevada for the uh, Western Qualifier, beat the number one fighter in the nation, won gold, went to the Olympic trials, won, uh, uh, qualified, Went to uh, uh, Bulgaria, if I'm not mistaken, and was the only uh, the only athlete in the men's team to medal. Won a bronze medal out of out of all the, the weight class, out of the ten weight classes. The only man in the USA team to come back with a bronze medal. I mean that that I mean look at that's a it, it just goes to show you that when you want it, you know you put in the hard work, dedication, you grind, you work hard, you stay humble, stay grounded. Anything in life can happen. Absolutely. And what do you, what advice uh, do you have for them where uh, obviously they were expecting the Olympics to happen this year and, and because of mm -hmm. the coronavirus pushed back until uh, next year, it'll be Tokyo mm -hmm. 2021. Mm -hmm. It must be crushing for them, but and in a sense, mm -hmm. I had talked to them and, and, and they've told me that, you know, maybe just kind of, you could see it different ways. God kind of telling you like, you know, practice a little more, just get even better, sharper for when it comes or mm -hmm. something like that. Absolutely, because now it goes to show this, the coronavirus situation we're all living in. But it's yeah. what you make out of it. You can decide to throw in the towel and say, you know what, screw it, I'm, 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 I'm going to go pro. Or, or, or I'm going to quit. You don't quit. These challenges, that, these are, this is what makes you or break you. you know, th these are the type of situations that, um, that in life nobody's going to give you anything. You know, nobody's going to hand you anything. That's another thing that I spoke to Anthony about. Nobody's going to hand it to you. You got to go out there and, 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 and get it. And nobody's going to, uh, uh, you, know, no, no, you know, there's no magic potion. You know, there's that, you know, you got to work hard. You got to, you know, like the situation with him right now, obviously, it's difficult for everybody. But what are you going to do? Just, you know, keep working hard. You're already on the team. It, would be, it wouldn't be wise of you to decide to go pro now. 
wait another year, kid. Deal with it. Keep working hard. Keep training. Keep showing up. Watch your weight because it's, it's difficult. <laughs> you know, he's got to make the weight. Hopefully, you know, we get things going back again where he still has to qualify for the, for the Olympics, to the Olympic qualifier, which will take place in Argentina unless something happens. Uh, and then we got to look forward to that. Hopefully he qualifies and then obviously moves on to the Olympic Games. We're there already. I think the hardest part has already been done, which is to be part of Team USA. Okay, right. Wow. We definitely will keep our eye on that talent. Hopefully uh, everything goes well and we can see him representing USA in Tokyo yes, 2020 yes, and then see you there in the corner. That would, that's a, yeah. that'd be well, great to see. <laughs> I, I got to tell you though, I got to tell you, uh, a lot of the credit goes to Estrellita, my right hand man, my compadre, because he's in charge of uh, working with the amateurs. Obviously I've worked with them as well, but he's the one that travels with them and takes them to the, uh, takes them to the shows and, and, you know, stands in line for hours to try to <laughs> match them up and all that. You know, so I got to I gotta give my, my compadre credit because if it wasn't for him, then obviously at the same time, Anthony wouldn't be where he's at today. Uh, you know, I got to give credit what credit is due. And, and that's his fighter. More than mine, that's his fighter. <laughs> because he's, you know what I mean? I mean, we're yeah. a team, but that's, that's, that's my compa because he's, he's the one that's been uh, putting in the work with him and you know, some of the other amateur fighters that we have that are doing very well. And, and because this is, it doesn't stop, as you know, you know, you said it yourself, I, I work with uh, uh, a lot of fighters, up and coming fighters that are now pros that are fighting four or six rounds that are steadily, you know, making their, 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 their way in their name into boxing and obviously working with the amateurs because that's my um, obligation. That's our obligation as coaches is to continue developing talent and not look away from the youth, not look away from the kids, you know, because that's, that's our core. That's very important. It isn't just about the guys that are making you money and the big names. No, you got to go back and, you know, uh, give back. And that's the best way to give back is working with the youth, working with the amateurs. Absolutely. Absolutely. Completely agree with you. And yes, I've also known, well, I've known you and Estrita for a long time and a great guy as well. Uh, wish you both, of course, uh, uh, lots of success with uh, this uh, youth that you guys are helping uh, go on their path to becoming champions one day. Um, yes. You know, speaking on this topic of, of youth and, and young champions, you know, we've seen. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe here at Fino Boxing, like this video and leave your comments down below and follow us at all our social media platforms at Fino Boxing and my personal one is at Adriana underscore sports.